Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss about IFRS 9 related question. Uh, this particular question is uh, relating to uh, calculation of impairment provision in relation to trade debtors. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's uh, go through the question, then we'll uh, move on to the solution. Okay, so uh, AG PLC is applying IFRS 9 financial instruments with regard to its financial statements for the year ended 31st March 2020. The following information is uh, related to the collective impairment of its trade debtors. The company follows simplified approach per IFRS 9 financial instruments in determining the impairment provision. Its trade data aging is given in the below table. Okay, so these are data uh, aging. A debtor's balance as of 31st March 2020 in millions and probability of default is also given. Then uh, these are the aging pockets. The current 160 million, uh, one to 30 days past due 90 million, 31 to 60 days past due 45, 61 to 90 days 35 million and over 90 days 50 million. So these are the probability of defaults under each category. AG estimates its default rates. This is very important. How does AG estimates its default rates? In the provision matrix, as a product of, as a product of probability of default, which is this, okay, probability of default, and loss given default, we call it LGD, of 5% for a respective data age bucket, okay? So what do they do? To identify the default rate, this is the default rate, okay? They take the probability of default, which is PD times, okay? Loss given default, which is LGD, okay? So PD is given 8.53 and LGD, the loss given default is 5%. So as a product, the default rate, this is the default rate, okay, is taken as a product of probability of default and LGD. So simply what you need to do is 8.53 times 5 will be your default rate, okay? So this is what we need to identify here. Then that default rate has to be applied on this outstanding balance. So that will provide you the uh, impairment provision, okay? Uh, however, the company maintains 100% LGD for a data for 2 million included in the over 90 days past due bucket due to the fact that this data has been declared bankrupt. So this is kind of a specific provision. Okay. Specific provision with regard to this balance. Okay. Out of 50 million, 2 million has to be the probability of default is 100. No? So uh, loss given default is also 100. Loss given default also 100. So therefore, this 2 million has to be provided fully and the remaining 48 million, only you have to calculate 5% uh, default rate, okay? So what does uh, probability of default means? What does it mean probability of default? Basically, it measures the probability or likelihood that a borrower will default on their loan, okay? So what is the probability of default? What is the likelihood of default? For example, if it is a current uh, bucket, the likely, likelihood of uh, defaulting, the customer is 8.53. If it is over 90 days, the likelihood is 100% uh, default, okay? Probability, probability. Okay, what does uh, LGD, loss given default? Okay, so what does LGD means? LGD means loss given default. What does it mean? It means it refers to the amount of money a customer loses, sorry, a, a company loses uh, when a customer defaults a loan. Okay, so this is the amount of money, okay, a company, a company loses when a customer defaults, 
okay so this is the actual loss to the company but pd means the probability okay so probability of defaulting under current is 8.53 but actual loss will be 5% you understand so based on this we need to calculate the uh, impairment provision so let's move on to the solution quickly okay so first of all we will take the uh, uh, we will calculate the uh, default rate okay so we will calculate the default rate now we have uh, current we have current uh, this is the probability of default 8.53% and also we have loss given default 5% okay this is a default is a default rate okay so that will be if you calculate the lost uh, default rate this is rough, roughly 0.43% 0 0.43% then uh, 1 to 30 days we have 15.79% times 5% so that's going to be point seven nine percent okay then we have 31 to 60 days uh, which is going to be 26.32 percent which is this percentage and the probability of uh, the loss given default is five percent so that's going to be 1.32 percent then we have 61 to 90 days that's going to be uh, 47 percent 47 percent into 5%, that will be 2.35%, 2.35%. Then finally, over 90 days, over 90 days is going to be 100% times loss given default is 5, it's going to be 5%. So these are the uh, default rates. So what you need to do is you take the outstanding balance, uh, data balance, data balance in millions, is going to be 160 million, 90 million, 45 million, 35 million. And here you should take not 50 million, 48 million, because out of 50, they are saying 2 million is included in the over 90 days bucket is going to be a bankrupt. Okay, so therefore, there is going to be 100% provision. Okay, so now this will be the impairment provision. So impairment provision, impairment will be 0.43 times 160. So it's going to be, so it will be 0.688 because these are in millions. So therefore this is 68,800, so 0.688. So 90 million times 0.79 will be 0.711. 45 million times 1.39, it's going to be 0.594. Then uh, 35 million times 2.35, it's going to be 0.823. Uh, 48 million times 5%, it's going to be uh, 2.4. 2.4 million plus we have 2 million which is going to be 100 percent okay so therefore this 2 million is going to be 100 percent so when you take the total it will be 7.216 this is going to be the provision that's all for today thanks for watching and i will see you soon with another video until then goodbye